ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Ako po si Junelle Abor and this is K-Check. The smartest game show on television is now on its home stretch. Welcome everyone to the K-Check semi-final round. Our weekly winners are back para sumagot ng mga tanong na magdadala sa kanila sa ating grand finals at the end of this week. At sa araw na yon, isa lang ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Pero hindi lang ang weekly winners ang sasabak sa araw na ito. Joining them will be our wild cards na pinili mula sa mga runners-up ng bawat weekly competition. And of course, kasama din namin kayong lahat na imbitado makisagot sa mga tanong na haharapin ng ating mga contestants. Kilalanin na natin ang ating apat na contestants na dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Christine is our very first K-Check Weekly winner na early on in her race ay frontrunner na. She's currently finishing her MA in Araling Pilipino from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Kasama din natin si Versil, a BS Physics freshman who loves going to the gym at clear winner din noong weekly finals niya. Lester, ang former philosophy student na history major na ngayon, earned his spot in the semifinals in week 4 of the competition. At si Charlene naman, ang ating soft-spoken film major, ay humabol ng humabol during her race and now she too has a spot in our semis. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Iglesia Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check para mihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin. Christine, what is the name of an insect that also refers to a flaw in a computer program? The bug. Okay, check. Versil. What percussion instrument composed of wooden bars is commonly seen in school bands? Xylophone and... Manuk. The correct answer is marimba. Lester, in what country can you find the city of Kolkata? Mexico. Manuk. The correct answer is India. Charlene. Which structure with a colorful name usually has glass walls for the cultivation of plants under controlled conditions? Greenhouse. Teacher. Back to you, Christine. Karachi is the largest city in what Asian country? Pakistan. Teacher. Versil. In popular tradition, the three wise men brought the infant Jesus, gold, myrrh, and what other aromatic resin? I know. The correct answer is frankincense. Lester, which woodwind instrument that has a brass body was named after its Belgian designer? Saxophone. Kate. Charlene, Hokkaido is a northern island in what country? Japan. Kate. Christine, which southern Spanish dance is called? The Dance of the Gypsies. Flamenco. Kate Versil. In which state in the USA can you find Kilauea Volcano, one of the most active in the world? Hawaii. Kate Lester. Which early 20th century American dance is named for the way a dog-like animal might walk? Running Man. Male. The correct answer is Foxtrot. Charlene, which great international conflict started in 1914? World War I. K-Check. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramian Round. 
At the end of the first round, nangunguna ang dalawang babae natin, si Christine at si Charlene, with 30 points each. And the men, we have Versil and Lester with 10 points each. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, mga the women yeah. are holding up the sky Correct. today uh -oh. so far. Yes. And Pero it's a challenge. Yung dalawa, most likely, di ba? Tingnan natin. Tingnan natin. <laughs> oh. Kamusta naman magkasama tayo sa semis ngayon, Atty. Gabby? Oo nga. How time flies, no? Diba? Semis na. And mm -hmm. very soon, aabot po tayo sa championship round natin. Correct. Excited ka ba sa championship? Of course, di ba? Tingnan natin kung sino sa kanila ang magiging first K-Check champion. Mm -hmm. Ito isang excited din, no? Professor Neil, excited ka ba sa nangyayari ngayong araw na ito? Tama, matagal ko nang hinihintay ito kung sino unang K-Check champion. Pero may tanong ako kay Christine. Nung elimination round, nalaman namin na meron kang nagpublish ka ng isang children's book. Opo. So meron ka bang bagong book project? Um, meron po akong uh, bagong book, pero part siya ng anthology. So, uh, children's story po uli siya. Ang title is, Shh, My Teacher is a Witch. <gasps> pero, uh, tsaka na yung full story kapag ilulunsad na siya sometime in December. Hmm? Ang naisip ko lang doon, sino kayang inspirasyon ni Christine para ganun ang pamagat at kwento na kanyang children's story. Baka nasa diba? show na ito yung inspiration niya doon. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, uh, okay. Parang nag-react si Prof. Marion at saka si Prof. Glessy. <laughs> Is it I? Na-intriga sila. <laughs> Na-consensya din sila. No? Okay. So ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilis Around? Next, here on K-Check! pa rin ang ating karunungan check. And of course, tulad ng sinabi natin, ang lead pa rin ang ating mga witch este contestant pala, si Christine at si Charlene with 30 points each. And of course, Versil and Lester with 10 points each. Correct. Sorry naman, kasi masyado akong na-involved talaga dun sa book mm. ni Christine na My Teacher is a Witch. Yes. Excited ako ma mabasa yan. No? Ako mm. din. Yes. May tanong ako sa isa sa mga contestants natin ngayon, no? Si Lester ay hindi ko na-witness nung kanyang linggo. Sa pakiramdam mo, mayroon ka bang chance, malaking chance na talagang mapatumba itong tatlong contestants ngayong araw na ito? <laughs> uh, Naniniwala naman po ako na kaya naman pong lumaban mm -hmm. ngayong araw po. Okay. B uh, BA History ka, di ba? Tingin mo yung, yung program ang makakatulong sa'yo <laughs> sa araw na ito? Uh, somehow helpful, pero di po siya totally helpful. Kasi uh, di naman po puro history yung tanong dito. <laughs> okay. Sabi ko nga, di ba? Correct, mm. di ba? Talagang dapat eh, all around ang Correct. ating magiging K-Check champion. Yes. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, pag-isipan muna bago i-press ang buzzer. Let's begin. Question number one. What is the name of the empire in central Mexico that was composed of three city-states and was conquered by Spain in 1521? Charlene. Aztec Empire. Okay, check. Question number two. In cartoons, what is the name of the French striped skunk in Looney Tunes and Merry Melodies? Charlene. Epilepew. Hey, check. Q3. Who is the American author of the fantasy novels A Song of Ice and Fire? Lester. Uh, oh my God. Susan Collins. Male. Let me finish the question. Which was adapted on HBO as Game of Thrones? George, uh, George R. R. Martin. Okay, check. Question number four. In what country did the death of a 22-year-old 20, Masha Amini in the hands of morality police happened in September that led to the protests all over the world. Lester? Pakistan. Malay. Charlene? Iran. Okay, check. Question number five. In sports, Spain's Carlos Alcaraz has risen to be rated number one in the world in what sport? Lester? Football. Malay. Kirstin? Soccer. Malay.
The correct answer is tennis. Okay. Question number six. It is a four-line stanza, especially one having alternate rhymes. Example are the Rubaiyat and the Prophecies of Nostradamus, what is called the four-line stanza. Charlene? Quatrain. Okay, check. Question number seven. The United Nations headquarters is located at the East 42nd Street in what city? Charlene? New York City. Okay, check. Question number eight. Who became Prime Minister of the United Kingdom in World War II and won the Nobel Prize? Lester? Winston Churchill. Okay, check. Question number nine. What do you call the pungent aromatic yellow powder from the rhizome of a gender? Uh, Lester. Dermatic. Let me just finish the question. What do you call the pungent aromatic yellow powder from the rise of a ginger plant that is used to flavor and color curry powder? Turmeric cake. Question number 10. Named for the many pear trees in its vicinity, what is a commercial area in Seoul, South Korea known for its nightlife? Correct answer is Itaewon. Question number 11. The Eroica is the third symphony of which German composer? Charlene. Ludwig van Beethoven. Okay, check. Question number 12. In music, what direction means with great loudness or simply very loud? Charlene. Forte. Correct answer is fortissimo. Okay. And that's it for our K Check Pabilisan round. And at the end of the Pabilisan round, talagang rumachada at bumulusok si Charlene with 160 points, Lester and Christine with 20 points each, and Versil with 10 points. Mm -hmm. Talagang kinarear ng isang contest. Ano? Ay, oo, oh, oh, yung soft spoken na Charlene oh. na yan, talagang ginulat tayong lahat. Pero sa pagkatapos ng round na to, Prof. Glessy, parang gusto mong i-interview ang ating bumulusok na contestant today na si Charlene. Sige. Kausapin natin si Charlene. Mm -hmm. Charlene, hello. <laughs> Charlene, ikaw yes. ay film major, tama? Yes po. Oo. Nanonood ka ba ng mga LVN pictures? Uh, sobrang hirap po kasi makakuha ng copy na ganun eh. Ah, oo, oo. Ako pinagtsatsagaan ko sa YouTube. O YouTube, oo. Tatanungin sana kita sa mga lumang pelikula. Ano yung paborito mo? Ano po yung definition ng luma? Luma? As ba <laughs> Ibig sabihin yung mga mas bata ay mas matanda sa'yo? Ah. Sabihin na lang po natin na ano, French film noong 1994 na gawa ni Claire Denis. French film. French film. Oo, oh, oh. sa local film ba? Meron kang paborito? Mga contemporary po na local films po yung nagugustuhan ko yung mga tipong 2010 na po. Okay, sige, salamat. YouTube. Okay. Medyo, medyo natigilan ako <laughs> sa comment uh -oh. na 1994. <laughs> Luma ang lumang uh, pelikula. Ako can relate ako sa 1994 na lumang pelikula. Mm, uh -oh. Mapagpanggap. Basta sa akin, pag black and white ang film, siguradong luma uh, yun. Okay. Yeah. Pero hindi ko na rin napanood yan. Uh -oh. <laughs> Prof. Marian, agree ka ba sa luma na 1994? Ay, gusto ko nga yung ano yun, Darna at ang babaeng aswang. <laughs> oh, hindi nila alam yan. Black and white. Oh, diba? Hindi na yung bagong darna ngayon. Correct. May question ka ba sa mga contestants natin? Madam. Eh, sige, gusto ko lang, hindi pa natanong si Versil. Okay. Siya pa naman ang taga science. Up. Physics. Yes, freshman. Up. So, batang-bata ka pa? Uh, 19 po. 19. At uh, talaga bang mahili kang physics mula? Yes po. Dream course po yung physics. Uh, so, medyo nerd ka nung bata ka? Uh, yes po. Hanggang well, ngayon? My God, my God, my God. So, Ayan. ngayon parang nahihiya ka bang sumagot? Uh, hindi po. Uh, mostly po kasi pop culture yung mga tanong ngayon. Eh. More on science po ako. Wala po alam sa mga ganyan. Oh, so, mamaya, abangan mo ang question ko sa science. Dapat masagot mo ang mga science and math, <laughs> okay. So, dapat ay itaguyod mo ang ang watawat ng mga scientista ng bayan. <laughs> ano pa? Mahirap pa i-risk yung ano, eh, mga tanong eh. Thank okay. you, thank you so much, Prof. Marian. Ang naangkop na movie dyan ay 
Revenge of the Nerds. Pwede. Oh, luma uh, yun, luma. Black and I'm white? I'm sure 1994. Colored, uh, pero parang 1994 meron ng Revenge of the Nerds. Okay. Thank you for the questions, no? This time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on Key Check! At ngayon, nandito na tayo sa ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para matagdagan ang ating kaalaman, pati mga contestants natin at viewers, sa round na ito sa mga professors na ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang unang papasok sa K-Check Grand Finals. Contestants, Let's begin! Nako, eto na! Time for the ultimate pagalingan round from our panel of experts. First question from Professor Glessy. Thank you. O, usapang kababaihan sa panitikan. Okay. Her statue in Vigan, Ilocos Norte, stands as a testament to her legacy as the first female Ilocano poet. Who is this Ilocano feminist writer? Ang sagot natin ay si Leona Florentino. Because of her skillful way of delivering her verses, si Professor Mabanglo considered her as the bridge from the oral tradition to written poetry. And she's also the mother of another literary luminary, Isabelo de los Reyes. Talagang you learn something new every day here on K-Check. Next from our panel of experts, Professor Neil. Tanong hinggil sa kasaysayan ng Asia. Ano ang naging layon ng paglunsad ng Tet Offensive noong 1968 sa kasaysayan ng Vietnam? Tuon ng opensibang ito ng North Vietnam na maglunsad ng coordinated attack sa lahat ng military outposts sa South Vietnam. Layo nito ng pahinain ang mga puwersa ng mga Amerikano at kaalyado nito sa South Vietnam at hikayatin ang mga taga-South Vietnam na suportahan ang komunistang rebelyon. Prof. Marian? Okay, since mahalang mga bilihin ngayon at yun na ating kinocomplain, so ayoko muna magpaka-witch nga. Easy muna. If the cost of onions doubled, by what percentage did the price increase? Fifty percent. Malay. Two hundred percent. Two hundred percent. Malay. One hundred. One hundred percent. Okay, check. So price ng onions plus a percentage ng price niya must be twice the price, and it will be one or one hundred percent. It really takes a film major to answer that question. Maraming salamat, Prof. Marian. On our next question, Prof. Glessy. Recent discussions have raised concerns about historical revisionism pertaining to this period in our history, which has been marked by numerous documented accounts of corruption, fraud, human rights violations, and decadent culture. What do you call this period in history? Yes, sir. Paano ho ng batas militar? Covering 1972 to 1986 or sometimes until 1981. The answer is martial law under the Marcos administration or the Marcos dictatorship. Okay, check. 
talagang relieved si Lester. Although baka hindi niya naabutan ang panahon na yon, ano? Okay, check. Hindi nga niya naabutan. Talagang pang-history na lang yon. Kaya hindi natin dapat i-revise ang ating history. Prof. Neil. Tanong para sa Philippine history. Ano ang pangunahing issue sa kriminalidad ang hinarap ng pamunuan ni Pangulong Fidel Ramos? Problema ito na hinarap ng mga Chinoy sa panahon na pinalakas ni Pangulong Fidel Ramos ang ekonomiya at usaping pangseguridad ng bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay kidnapping of Chinoys. Prof. Marian from our panel of experts. Usapang physics na ito ha. What kind of collision does not involve the loss of kinetic energy? Elastic. Ay, elastic. El louder. Elastic. Okay, this is the encounter between two bodies in which the total kinetic energy of the two bodies remain the same and is not converted to other forms. Elastic collision, K-check. Oo, masasad si Prof. Marian kung hindi yan po nasagot ng ating <laughs> physics major. Back to Prof. Glassy. Thank you. O usapang children's literature. Ang hinahanap natin ay isang playwright, essayist, songwriter, and children's story writer par excellence. He is best known as the main writer of Batibot, a children's education program. Christine? Rene Villanueva. I will continue the question. Inspired by Sesame Street, who is the main writer of Batibot? The answer is Rene Villanueva. K. Chep. Siyempre, madidisappoint din naman si Prof. Glessy kung hindi nasagot ng ating children's book writer ang tanong na yan. Prof. Neil. Gusto ko rin malaman kung madidisappoint ako kung hindi masasagot ito ng history major. Pressure. 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 Okay. Tanong para sa Philippine history. Bukod sa pagpapalit ng araw ng kalayaan at land reform code, magbigay ng isang pamana sa usapin ng diplomasya ni Pangulong Diosdado Makapagal. Umabot ba? Hindi. Sorry. Ang pamanang ito ay nakatuon sa pagtatampok ng ating common heritage, ng pagkakaugnay sa kultura ng mga taga Malaysia, Indonesia at Philippines. Ang tamang sagot ay mafilindo. Mafilindo. Sabi ni Lester, alam ko yun. <laughs> Prof. Marian, for our next question. Alam mo ba yun? Yung Mafilindo? Of course. Ako hindi. O ito, dapat alam yung lahat to. Usapang science, syempre. Pero who? Who is the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? Lester. Marie Curie. Okay. For her pioneering research on radioactivity, She's also the first person and only woman to win the Nobel Prize twice and in different fields. She discovered the elements polonium and radium. Marie Curie, okay, check. So, talagang umiinit ang ating labanan today. Back to Prof. Glessy yes. from our panel of experts. Okay, thank you. O, usapang Philippine theater naman. Okay. Sino ang playwright? ng tula na Half an Hour in the Convent. Who is the playwright of the play Half an Hour in the Convent? Ang sagot dito ay si Wilfrido Maria Guerrero. Sa kanya pinangalan yung Guerrero Theater natin siya. Yan. So sa mga Nagtatanong kung bakit ganun nga ang name ng theater natin, malalaman din natin ito dahil sa K-Check. Prof. Neil. Uling tanong para sa kasaysayan, 
Ano ang tawag sa korte na itinatag ni Pangulong Sergio Osmeña upang litisin ang mga nakipagsabwatan sa mga hapon? Itinatag ito noong taong 1945 at pangako ito ni President Osmeña sa Lipunang Pilipino. Ang tamang sagot ay People's Court. Prof. Marian. Usapang chemical. Okay. Copper sulfate is an inorganic compound with formula CuSO4 um, used as a fungicide and a herbicide in, in agriculture. Ang tanong, how many atoms of sulfur are in a copper sulfate molecule? <laughs> Four. Ale. One. Okay, the formula, as I've mentioned, is CuSO4, copper, sulfate, and then apat na oxygen. So, in the molecule, there are four oxygen atoms, one copper, and one sulfur. Okay, check. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Charlene, our first contestant, to get a spot in our Grand Finals with 190 points. She will receive a power bank from TVUP. We'll see Charlene again on Friday for the K-Check Grand Finals. Thanks to Christine, Versil, and Lester for joining us and to our members of the panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Neil, and Professor Marian. This is Junelle Labor. And this is Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another semi-final round here on... K-Check! K -Check.